Come here a minute. There, come on. Say hello to everybody. Say hello. Hello everybody and welcome to the next video. Now I've been trying for days to think how I'm going to introduce this one because it's going to be, I've got so much to say and I don't know how it's all going to link together coherently. So I just thought what I'll do is I will just waffle my way through. No change there then Dougal. So we are at Ferry Meadows Caravan and Motorhome Club site in Peterborough. And this video is basically aimed at, as ever, caravanners and motorhomers, also railway enthusiasts. We're going to talk a bit about the railway, my fellow YouTubers too. What we're going to do is I'm going to show you around the campsite, Ferry Meadows. We're going to have a day out on the Neen Valley Railway, and then we're going to do something a little bit different, which I hope you will find interesting. So first of all, let's talk about Ferry Meadows Caravan and Motorhome Club site. It's a lovely site. It's open all year round. You don't have to be a member to stay here. It's a full facility site, so there's a very clean toilet block, laundry, washing up area and so on. The site is actually in two halves. There's one half that's open all year round and one half that's only open between sort of March and October. And that other half has mostly grass pitches and that's where the, the big children's play area is. So that's not available in the winter months, but yeah, great children's play area in the summer months. But what's great about Ferry Meadows is it's right in the heart of Neen, is it Neen Country Park, Neen Valley Park? It's right in the heart of a country park. So right next door you can take the dog, you can go cycling, or as I'm doing at the moment, go running. Uh, it's really, really good. Also there's a great network of cycle paths from the site so you can cycle into Peterborough off-road on a path all the way which is fantastic. I really wish I had my bikes with me but my road bike is in Uist and my mountain bike is in Kent because we're kind of doing another trip from uh, Kent to Uist with another carload of stuff which is why I couldn't bring too much down with me. So that's the caravan park and the country park and one of the great things about Ferry Meadows is, th is that the Neen Valley Railway has a station here. The Neen Valley Railway is a preserved railway running heritage diesels and steam trains and they have a station right here. Mostly at weekends they, they run their services. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to take you for a day out on the Neen Valley Railway but it's a day out with a difference. Now, one of my favourite layouts on YouTube is the Yorkshire North Yorkshire Dales Model Railway. Anyway, the channel name, many of you will know it, is Mouldy Raspberry. So I'm going to meet Lewis, who is the creator of Mouldy Raspberry. What we're going to do today is on the Neen Valley Railway, we're going to record some train sounds with my sound recorder. Hang on. So here we are, my sound recorder. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna record the sounds today on the Neen Valley Railway. And then tomorrow I'm gonna visit Lewis's layout and record some of the trains and then try and synchronize some of the real sounds from today to the model trains tomorrow and try and create a little, little, uh, little film at the end of this video showing you sort of bring bringing the layout to life so, so right now i'm gonna wrap this up and i'm gonna head over to the railway station meet up with lewis and we're gonna have a little day on the neen valley railway and recording some sounds and then tomorrow we will head on and see his layout so i hope you enjoy the video Here he is. Come on yourself. Hi Lewis. How are you? Good. How are you?
Nick, they do go there too. Right, that's us back at the van after a great day out on the Neen Valley Railway with Lewis. And what I wanted to say is we're just downloading the sounds now and some of them sounding really quite good. But it's incredibly difficult to record just sound because you've got things like light aircraft, uh, you got motorbikes in the background, people going past, kids on scooters, and then if you're at the actual railway itself, uh, people chattering away amongst themselves, which obviously they have every right to do, kids saying what they're seeing. It is incredibly difficult. If you ever, ever don't think it's incredibly difficult just to record the sound you want, go out and try it sometime. You'll be amazed how much extra noise there is. Here at Ferry Meadows, there's the distant rumble of the A1, which you obviously can't have if you're gonna overlay somewhere that's very rural, the, the background noise of a main road. So it's been a really interesting experience and it sort of added an extra element to the day. It's made it really interesting. So what I'm doing now is I'm downloading the sounds, I'm listening to them, labeling them up, and then I'm gonna make sort of a, a timetable or a roster or a diagram of all the train movements we need tomorrow on Lewis's layout, which is fantastic. I can't wait to show it to you. And then we're going to try and match the train movements to the sounds. What's really interesting about this is talking to Lewis today, he said when he does his videos, he actually films the trains first and then he tries to get the sounds to match. So we're doing it the other way around now. So this is new for him as well. So we're going to continue doing this. And then tomorrow we're going to head over to Lewis's house and go and see his fantastic model railway. Okay, so next day, and I'm here now with Lewis in his loft. We haven't really met you properly yet, Lewis, in this uh, in this video. Mm -hmm. Lewis runs a YouTube channel called Mouldy Raspberry. Why? Why Mouldy Raspberry? I can't, I can't give a good answer. I've asked, been asked this question a couple of times, and I've I've not got any closer. But um, yeah, when I started the channel, um, there was only a couple of people watching and having a. Uh, a sensible name didn't seem like a big a big issue um so i've just stuck with it <laughs> we like silly but exactly. you're also not a stereotype as well in as much as the fact what age were you when you got into model railways so i was 20 21 when i started i got well I got back into it. i was into it when i was very young yeah um, took a big gap and then got back into it at 21 yeah. so it's not just kids and it's not just old men like me it's also you know young whippersnappers like lewis here so back to the channel, and your channel's all about your model railway here in the loft, which is phenomenal. I will link to Lewis's channel, Mouldy Raspberry, in the description below. Please go and have a look at it, because even if you're not into model railways, the beauty of the scenery is just stunning, and it's really well worth looking at. This is not your first time a visiting channel has come, is mm -hmm. it? Yeah. Um, Richard's been here from New Junction, so if you want to have a look at a proper layout tour, if you're really into model railways, I'll link to that in the description below. But one of the things that I really love about Lewis's model railway is the fact that it is absolutely, it's simple. And you know, this channel's all about simplicity. It's just one line, isn't it, going around. Yeah. It's a two wire operation, none of this computerized stuff. And it's the railway is part of the scenery, whereas so many people just clutter up so much railway and stuff on their layouts, and you haven't. It's it's so relaxing, you've got space to breathe, you've got room to breathe, and I really, really like that. Now your videos on YouTube as well, you now have a signature style which is where you overlay sounds mm -hmm. to the trains running, which really brings it to life. I think what we're gonna to do today now is we're gonna try and emulate that with the sounds we recorded yesterday on the Neen Valley Railway, but yeah. you say that's a bit different to the way you did it. Usually you film first and then find sounds later. Yeah, I'll match the sounds to link, like match up with the video. Um, and that way I'm not kind of running the trains like trying to, trying to sync them up and having to do multiple runs and stuff like that. Whereas um, today, yeah, we're doing it we're the other way around. Do it the other way around. So um, first of all, we're going to have 
a few scenes of the trains running without the sound and then we're gonna put some sound over the top of trains running. Uh, for the purists out there, I've brought my Hornby Class 29 with me. That was 22 pounds on eBay. And yes, I know the sounds on it are not the Paxman engines that they were fitted with. It was a Class 14 we saw yesterday. Haven't got a clue what engine's in a Class 14. So, you know, for the purists, we know the sounds aren't purely correct, but this is just a bit of fun. So enjoy the running session. And it just leads me to say in the meantime, from Lewis and from me, Thanks, Thanks for, for tuning, tuning in. in. Oh, he's quite good. Yeah, we can come again. Yeah, cheers. <laughs>